I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Y'all, we about to uh, react to um, Prime reacting to Janae's, I guess, exposure to him or about him. I don't know. Dear Janae, don't ever speak on me again in your life is what he said. Let's get it. What's good? What's good, you too, man? I'm going to make this video very short, very brief. Been getting a lot of comments on my recent reaction videos saying, oh, like, Prime, can you speak on this situation? Some old lady is uh, speaking on you, and she said something with what your name is, that, or third, or whatever, whatever, saying she made you. First and foremost, what's up with everybody trying to come out saying that they have parts of making me the person who I am today? Let's be clear, like, respectfully, we, 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 we finna put an end to all this shit, gang. I ain't even gonna hold you, like, I don't even know why the fuck, like, everybody's starting to feel, like, comfortable, like, just speaking on me in general. Anyways, like, I be, I be all for the back and forth a little bit on the internet because I get money out this shit and, okay. you know, the little <laughs> trolling this and the third, but, hey, I ain't gonna hold you, like, motherfuckers getting, I, I feel like motherfuckers feel comfortable enough that they can just speak on certain shit. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and I swear to God, I ain't watched it yet. But I swear to God, bro, if anybody like, if if I if it, <laughs> if I feel disrespected with the slightest bit, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like, any anyway, uh, whatever. But huh, bro, ain't nobody got down made me like before I even came into the YouTube shit. I've been having Goyard bags, Goyard duffel bags, like, like. I've had rack aids to my name, like racks, homie. Like, I was playing with racks. Like, how you gonna make somebody who's already, like, I was making more money than the YouTuber when I, before I even came into the game. I came into the game, to the YouTube game, to try to get my music popular. That was the goal. I wasn't, it wasn't for money. It wasn't, it wasn't never for money. Like, I came in because I was fucking with a girl who was doing YouTube. And it made sense as well. Like my pot, my little partners in Atlanta and shit been doing the YouTube thing, and I just wasn't fucking with it. I've been on everybody in the YouTube game before this, before I even started. You know what I'm saying? So all that I made this nigga, I made this nigga. Everybody can suck my dick, nigga. Especially if you a nigga, slap the fuck out you if you a bitch. Just suck my dick, gang. Like ain't nobody maybe, but we finna get into this vid, man. Yeah, boy, boy, Brownley. <laughs> Respectfully, yeah, um. We finna get into it though. Hopefully, Shadi ain't say nothing disrespectful. Cause bro, like, I ain't. I'm really done doing this shit, gang. Like I ain't a lot to you. Like motherfuckers starting to feel like real comfortable just speaking on certain shit. But I'm gonna react to it just in case anybody say anything out of line or so I could put like little facts on it or whatever, or whatever. But yeah, let let let, let let's get straight Ooh, into it. Soft. Corey alleged boo Carmen lookalike recently got an SSG tattoo on her face. Y'all leave in the comments down below. Let me know your thoughts when it comes to that. Janae Aries' mom is back and supposedly she's saying that Cat Williams' interview has inspired her to call out certain YouTubers. She's calling mm. out Prime, Corey, and Kiana, claiming that they didn't give her the proper recognition that she deserved. Prime, now, a couple Corey, of years ago, she did sue Corey, claiming that when she was his manager that he didn't <laughs> pay her certain money. But Corey, uh. Nikki King, and other people that work with her claim that she didn't do her part as far as fulfilling feeling certain promises that she was going to do as far as their career. Now she's saying that she did. Now she did drop the case against Corey claiming that when she saw the kids it made her drop the case because she felt bad for the kids. And since then we haven't heard about the situation between Janae and the people that she worked with but she is now back and here's what she had to say. Alright so I haven't really been bothering anybody on the internet. I have been minding my own business and after seeing Cat Williams interview I'm like why not right? So here goes so Cat Wayne, uh, hold on, let me just watch. Well, the old lady <laughs> Can't and wait to say something. And did nothing for nobody, stole money from everybody, just scammer, saying that everybody need to humble themselves and sit down with that whole I made you stuff. Because if we actually look at facts and not go by emotions, and we actually look at the numbers, um, Corey, you came to me with, I think, 108, left me at two mil. Uh, Kiana, I think you came at me with maybe 180, 200, left me at 5K. Prime had nothing. Was sleeping on uh -huh. our floor in our all boys' house before everybody. Hey, shut the fuck up, you dumb ass. Shut the. <laughs> 
Yeah. I ain't wanted to say you dumb ass bitch. Fuck up, bro. <laughs> bro, listen, gang. I, I give credit where it's due and I give respect where it's due, but like if you would have said something like, Oh, you had zero subscribers and you 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 you, you when, when you met me you made a hundred, I wouldn't have said nothing <laughs> negative. But you talking about you bringing up sleeping on the flow, nigga. First and foremost, gang, we 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 finna take it all the way there. Let's First do of it. all, when we came to the crib that you said was finna be a YouTuber house. You had no furniture in the game. Uh oh. What were we supposed to do? You made me and Kiana pay for a room, right? Which was the payment was a month's worth of rent in an apartment like this <laughs> for a room, though, in a crib, first and foremost. Second. I had nothing and I slept on the floor like like I was broke or something. Like I'm glad Instagram has an archive button instead of deleting pictures cuz <clears throat> like around that time I was no near I was nowhere near broke gang. How the fuck was I getting to Houston? I'm broke, nigga. Nigga had his own spot in Atlanta, nigga. I had every I had everything I ever wanted to have. I came in with Jerry and everything. How you going how how you going to say something like that? Like that's crazy as fuck. I had nothing. I had nothing on YouTube because I wasn't a YouTuber. I had nothing on YouTube, but to say I had nothing and I slept on the flow. That is nigga, you crazy, nigga? That nigga like I just had moved. to do that because I wanted, I, I, I wanted to like, bro. Trey, you date your little daughter, area. I have no, 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 uh, no. What you call? They respect the Trey. Like, area, oh, area. area is, is cool. Like she's a wholesome human being. I'm not gonna bring her in it. Like I don't even think she do the YouTube thing no more. And I do appreciate Eric for everything she has done for me. I even appreciate some of the things you have done for me. But going out the way and saying I was, I had nothing and slept on the floor. You know, out you out your rabbit ass mind, gang. Like Dang. I ain't have shit. <laughs> you sound goofy as fuck. You sound just as goofy as you look. Damn, oh, nigga, you got me fucked up. Talking about I had nothing and I was sleeping on the floor. Me and Kiana was sleeping in a room together, and we had to buy since you had no furniture. And we went finna buy a, a whole ad bed and furniture for the room because we was staying there for four months. We was planning to run it up in a Houston mansion for four months. Nigga, we bought the biggest blow up bed for Walmart. Yeah, nigga, and I got no problem with saying that. We keeping the street. We grind mode. We in grind mode. Okay. We are, already have money. I already had paper. Kiana already had a following. She did. So we wasn't hurting for nothing. We was doing it off the experience. We getting the YouTube going. You told us hanging around Trey and Ari and, uh, and all that shit you saying was going to get us popping on the tube. Okay, cool. That we got to do. I never felt like I didn't have nothing just because I was sleeping, uh, in like on 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 that in, in that type of environment. I didn't think I had nothing. So that's crazy for you to even say. The nigga had nothing. Like you sound is that nigga is offended, but I don't blame him. I mean, if he. If he so that's been the whole thing this whole time with Janae exposing things. The way they debunk it sometimes for me, I'd be like, okay, well, Janae, what will make you leave that part out? A lot of them did complain that when they first got to the mansion or whatever it was that they had, they did not have certain things that they were supposed to have, apparently. Um, it wasn't the best situation. Um, and it seems like and I could be wrong. I just think that Jan Janae has always wanted her recognition for what she has done. And I don't think she, I don't think, I think she feels like she has not received that. Basically, like the niggas is ungrateful. I I, I really don't know, but I'm just saying. Praise as you look. That's funny as fuck. Do me a favor and not to ever speak on me again, nigga. Like, who the fuck are you? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Janae, bro, I give you. Credit for doing the whole YouTube thing and bringing people up on YouTube. That's cool. Speak on that. Speak on how you put things together. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because me and Kiana, at first, we wasn't as serious as like a relationship type of couple thing until we actually sat down with Janae in the crib and had a little meeting. And she and she was telling me, I think, like, you, you should dare her, take her serious. Like, it'll go up on YouTube. Like, and I'm like, cool. I took it into consideration. We both took it into consideration. <laughs> My thing is, if she got paid, 
Which, well, that was a complaint, too. So, like, it's just so... You never really know all the facts with this shit because it's never really clear. It hasn't been clear for years. She say what she say. Then they come back and say something totally different and something that she had done or whatever. It's just a lot in general. Generation, and we started taking each other. It wasn't even that we took each other serious after that. It's the fact that the us staying together every day and beating each other face that soon, it made us be a serious thing. You could take credit a little bit for that. I helped y'all build y'all relationship. Cool. I helped y'all build a files because I put y'all in between a mix of Trey and Aaron and the third. Cool. <laughs> say some shit like that. Don't come on no internet. Don't come out your mouth and say, I had nothing and I was sleeping on the fucking floor. I had my own spot the whole time. I was standing in that raggedy ass house that you had us in, bro. That you weren't paying on. Nigga, and as soon as you did some fishy ass shit, I told Keanu to pack her shit and we gone. We good. We good in the A. We getting the fuck up out of Houston. Yeah, That's they why went nigga to ain't the last a. that long they in did. Houston. That's the real truth they that did. we ain't never speak on. Uh fuck. As my son said, come. That's the whole truth. That we ain't never get, get to speak on back in the day. Cause we ain't want to ever bring it to the forefront. But since you coming out the woodworks, probably need some money on or some. I don't know what you got going on. Don't really care either. But since you're speaking on me, I'm going to speak back. Because then what I do, and then what I get paid to do. But okay. listen, bro. We left your shit and was good. And went up on your ass. Damn. We went up on y'all folks. That's what we did. We was already up anyways. Kiana had like 300, 400 subs already. She had her money on going. I had money on already. I gained 100K in about a month. He did? Yeah, you remember? I remember that. You remember, right? So I, that's what she... I can see Janae right now. That honey K you talking about? That honey K you talking about? Yeah. I'm the one who helped. <laughs> I can see her right now. <coughs> Probably one of the fastest growing YouTubers at that time. In that era. That couple. At that time, he, he was. And then the nigga ran it up. Lost the whole channel. Whole channel. Just gone. And he ran it up again. No cap. Couple era. The Carmen and Corey era, Nick and King era, Keanu and Prime era, yeah. Nigga, when I first started getting 100K in the first month, I don't even got that channel no more. That shit gone. YouTube be playing with my channels and shit, but don't ever come out your mouth and say, like, nigga ain't have shit. Like, you sound crazy as fuck. I don't give a fuck who feel disrespected by how I'm talking. I'm sure you got, I know you got sons and husbands and shit. They can come. Do whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I'm standing on everything I'm saying. You sound goofy, nigga, and dumb. You sound dumb speaking on people like that. You sound crazy, gang. Stay in your lane. You know, I, I, I ain't gonna lie. Before this before this uh, video, before you, uh, you know, uh, yeah. like, before you got down, speak hey, on yeah, people. Yeah. Before you get before you before you speak on people gang, damn this text just got me uh. Yesterday, so how you how you Oh, uh, I gotta make the ranch. You you remember? You remember how to make the ranch? I'll do it. Okay, thank you. London, London, get your ass. No, I'm playing. Sidetrack. Uh. Then I just got sidetracked. Oh, I have. Uh, that what I was saying. Bro, before this shit, bro, I have respect for you. I ain't gonna lie, I did. I have respect for Janae, gang. But why is you on here? Like, why is you putting your two cents in and talking about Cat Williams inspired you? Cat Williams don't know you, ho. Oh, damn. You tripping. I have no problem giving credit where it's due. You introduce a nigga to a whole different vibe, a whole different industry. Cool. I appreciate you. And I have respect for you. But don't come on here talking crazy. I think that's talking crazy. <coughs> Saying I had nothing is talking crazy. You tripping. Nigga ain't never disrespected you. Your children, nigga. No nothing. I show respect every time where it was due. You're tripping. You're bugging. 
you can rephrase what you said if you're going to come back and make another video or something like that. You tweaking. You really are. Play with somebody your age. Don't play with me. You know what I'm saying? You tripping. That nigga said play with somebody your age. 180, 200, left me at 5K. Prime, at nothing. Nothing. Sleeping on, our floor Sleeping on the floor, like, like, try me at our, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we wasn't paying for a room. I call Counter right now. I just choose not to. It's 3 a.m. I don't know what she got going on. It's literally 3 a.m. We were paying to, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Niggas want freeloading, sleeping on R, sleeping on R. Shut the fuck up, ho. You, we were paying on that. Me, me. It was, it, it was me, Kiana, Trey, Ari, and DC Herbo, Zavi, and Nessa. Nigga, paying on that raggedy ass house, and you had your other children in there freeloading because they uh, weren't making money on that shit. No disrespect to them. I know that's true. But that's just what it was. She gotta have. Don't a get on here doing all this capping, man. You playing with the, you playing you playing with some of the wrong people, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. You playing with some of the wrong people, gang. Okay? Before everybody went, as my son said, kamikaze, and he had zero subs. We legit started your channel from scratch. We did start my channel at that crib. We did. I remember my first video with Trey introducing me to the YouTube platform. And my brother know what's going on between me and him. And he know it's always credit and always love, nigga. The young ones don't have an issue with each other. It's just Janae. <laughs> so what the fuck are you on here talking about, gang? I don't know. Yeah, you lost I ain't gonna lie. I've talked to Janae several times. And I just wish um, she kind of would have left this one behind. Um, look at me. If Janae ever tried to, you know what I'm saying, expose me. Listen, Janae tried to give me a motherfucking... Oh, well, Janae wanted me to interview her. Either she wanted me to interview her, I asked her to be interview one or two. Anyway, I was going through my breakup at the time, and I was being exposed. So I was a hot-ass mess. Mine couldn't even... My mind was seeing, like, everything but it, what it was supposed to see at the time, so I could not do her interview. We even started. I couldn't finish. Um, I definitely asked her for some money before. And the last time I seen her, I was crying because my motherfucking charger went missing. We gonna talk about that fucking charger because it went missing. But I wasn't only crying because the charger went missing. I had a lot on my mind. But anyway, you know, people do like to bring up your bad shit. That's why I just tell y'all everything. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Listen, before you think you about to expose me to Jesus. <laughs> Hell yeah, but I'm fucked up at one point. I ain't fucked up no more, you know what I'm saying? That's where Prime coming from. He like, nigga, all right, you know what I'm saying? But he's saying he had money at the time. You know, Janae gonna come out with something about that. But, you know, yeah, girl, I'm fucked up. Maybe two to three times throughout this whole process. So, yeah, just in case, you know, I get rolled up under the bus. But, yeah, girl. The first one. <laughs> But you already had built the following because Trey brought you in. And when Trey brought you in, him and Eric, when they was together, they built you and Kiana and brought y'all on. And boost. Kiana already Definitely had probably going to catch a stray. But it's follower. okay, y'all. Listen, listen, I'm grown as hell. Now, I ain't Janae age, but I ain't they age either. You know what I'm saying? I'm right in between. Right in between. Um, I'm still older than her oldest daughter. So with that being said, you know, I'm going to always leave with respect. You know what I'm saying? Janae, I already told y'all, she taught me a lot, especially when it came to this YouTube shit. Cause I give flowers girl. She like, I told y'all, she said you broke cause you want to be. She literally told me that shit. You're broke cause you want to be. And she was correct. Like I'm over here thinking about shit, overthinking, not thinking of just too much when I could have been making this type of money that I'm making today. I could actually have way more than what the fuck I got right now had I listened to her several years back. You know what I'm saying? But um, I'm glad I didn't deal with her because of shit like this. But I am grateful for the information, for sure. She damn sure told me. And I love a, a, a bitch that'll keep it hot with you. And she did. You know what I'm saying? She like, nigga, you got these channels and Basically, you ain't making no money. 
I was like, she, <laughs> I was like ooh. She called me broke. Okay. <laughs> Ari had a major following. Ari had a fantastic following. I don't take that away from her. Ari had a following like fucking Carmen got now. Ari's following was fantastic, bro. I'm giving credit where it's due. Back. We started doing videos with them. It made me gain massive. Yes. But what you're not finna do, gang, is take away from the shit that me and Kiana built as well. When I left your shit, I probably had, what, 100? Come on, man. My channel got deleted at 250K. I only spent three months in the crib. So how else How else did I build the rest of my following and my fan base? On his own. And this is the type of shit right here. When we left Houston, it kind of like, like... Know what I'm saying? Like, this type of yep, shit that kind of fucked up Dang. me and Trey a little bit, too. Like, this why I, like, I despise this whole situation. But it's all good, though, bro. You can't take away from what I done built from the ground up. Like, you a small fry, for real. That's why you ain't you ain't here around to this day doing the content shit no more. You a small fry, for real, man. You got motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? You could have still been in position to certain folks. But you want to do little petty shit like this and like try to step in a whole nother lane where you shouldn't be going. Like, what, why, like, why, like, like, why are you in the streets? Get back on the sidewalk. Not literally, but why are you jumping into this lane? You know what I'm saying? Mind your business. You, you, you too, you too old. They built you and Kiana and brought y'all on and boosted y'all channels and made y'all priming around since. Right after Ari and them started. Seven, eight years. You know, the thing. And why y'all Not right after they started, but when they get when they when Ari and them got up there, there that's when Prime came. That's what she talked that's what they're talking about. Trey and Ari was helping Prime and Kiana. Kiana had already had a following though. She just needed a little more. Kiana did exactly what the fuck she was supposed to do. And so did Prime. They all in good positions right now. Well, the ones that stuck it out. You know what I'm saying? Listen, everybody got their own story. Everybody got a story in general. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us went through some shit. Some of us was broke. Some of us wasn't. Some of us was trapping. Some of us wasn't. Some of us was <laughs> out here doing what the fuck we needed to do to keep a video on this damn screen. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people up now. A lot of people is up now. You know what I'm saying? Contrary to what anybody think, choosing reactions was reactions and slash journalists, because I'm definitely a journalist now, um, was one of the best decisions I ever made. And I don't regret my my path because God put me on that for a reason. Nobody can make me feel bad about what I went through. I don't give a fuck. If I did ask you for some money, you got it back. Especially if you gave it to me. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever the case may be. I, I Y'all, I genuinely, <laughs> I know that you got to go through your shit. You got to go through what you grow through. Or grow through what you go through. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. The house Say me. what y'all want. How everybody just skipping over this? Like Neb ain't built off my foundation. It's just crazy to me how y'all just forget yeah. the details. And she's speaking on Neb. It's crazy. I'm getting calls on some other shit. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, what? What she said? Yeah, she just spoke on Neb. Like. Eating off her foundation with you should have just kept it P. Professional, nigga. Now you got other people getting paid for what you used to do. Right. Who is that to blame? Yourself. Blame yourself. You should have kept it professional. Bit at you a professional team and got and kept getting money on. Label money on. Except you. I can't disagree with him on that one. Being in a drama, you being messy, you doing this, doing that like a little ass girl. And you know, I will say all of them, all of them have said that she was messy. All of them. I will say that story hasn't changed for none of them. So 
I feel like they all had the same reason, and she has the same reason as well. She, she don't feel like she got, she's getting what she deserved. And I mean, even after this, what what what's gonna happen from there? You know what I'm saying? All right, you come out, you expose everybody. They don't care because they rich anyway. Where do we go from here? You know what I'm saying? That's probably what you deserved. Because why are you coming back years later and you speaking on shit? You don't know shit about shit. Be quiet. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you don't know shit about shit what's going on in 2024. You know what I'm saying? And so it's just better. Just don't say anything. It's just... just yeah, don't, don't take your own care. advice. Take your own advice. Don't say nothing. Grind. Work. Go to work. Do, go to work. Do your job. Just leave it at that because when you get to seeing what you did for somebody as far as you building channels, nobody over there, nobody over there started anything from scratch. Nobody. Nobody. And when I say started anything from scratch, I mean everybody over there channel, except for I'm going to say Kiana's, everybody's channel over there was built off of a channel or a brand that I elevated. With the guy, but I elevated. Nobody else over there. Everything from that company is built off my foundation. So y'all welcome. Yeah, I want any pants. Uh nobody over there started anything. I ain't gonna lie, he did kinda go out. I ain't no way he went. <laughs> Everybody builds something from the ground up, gang. You're not saying, you're saying a bunch of nothing. Nobody over there had anything. Everybody built from scratch. Okay, cool. Your daughter built it from the ground up as well. What are you saying? And shout out to Eric. I know she's probably mad if she ever hear this video. But it ain't no disrespect to you. I know you're probably mad because you feel like I'm disrespecting your mother. But she should have never spoken my name. I ain't going to hold you. We're not finna sit here and play with Prime. That's not what we finna do. Her other sons and I'm all sorry, that type yeah, of shit. I'm she can feel how they want to feel. Hey, I'm easy to reach. Wine H Prime Time on Instagram, like all that shit. Like she shouldn't have spoken to me first. That's you know what I'm saying. That's just what it is. Like why are you, you know what I'm saying. He and is absolutely and sad, over. bro. The saddest part about it is I had respect for that lady. I ain't even gonna cap. See, I really did. So for her to be speaking on this type of shit is kind of like disappointing. But it's all good. Like, ain't nobody just, you know, make me. I am. I've always been a star. Like, I was doing music before YouTube. I had 100K on the ground before I started YouTube. It was going to be easy for me to gang. That was the whole play. I was already popular and already getting 20,000 likes on the ground before I had a YouTube channel. That was the play. We knew it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> let's not say, act like we didn't know what the play was. Yeah, I grind too hard for people to just be playing with my name. Like I feel him on that shit right there. Yeah, the Corey, Corey said he said what he said, but that he was just trolling. He on some funny man shit. Like, but Shotty right here, she doing all this talking. Like, man, listen, that's too too many people. I ain't gonna cap. We not finna sit here like this. Like, like you know what I'm saying. Me and Counter was doing YouTube together, right? At a at a point. Because we were in a relationship and you don't even hear her talking like how y'all talking. Y'all sound crazy. I've been who I am before I made a YouTube channel and everybody know that. If anybody got any problem, they could just hit me. You know what I'm saying? I'm gone. Stop playing on my name. Well, Prime said what the fuck he had to say, girl. Yeah, y'all. Um, I don't know, bro. I just. Mm, I feel like everybody should stand on business on how they feel, but I would not bother people who ain't bothering me. <laughs> I mean, that's the best way I could. I would not bother people who ain't bothering me. I don't know if Janae don't expect them to be like, you know, tell their story or they got to put her name in it every time. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, but I... I see why he feeling the way he feeling, and I if I, if I was in there, I'd just put it, I'd put it down, man, just put it down. I would put this shit down. <laughs> it's not worth it. It's not needed. 
However, maybe not for me, but for her mental health, you know, it might be better for her. I don't I don't even know if it bothered her mental health. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But <clears throat> y'all just let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Um, that's all I got. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.